Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going with Q1 of the bi-weekly contest 145, minimum operations to make a way while you use code decay. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about this one. And I give a little bit of chuckle because this one is a ridiculous one. I took about three minutes, most of it just to reading. I don't, I feel like they made it, make it very hard to like, just read the poem. I feel like, uh, you know, back in the day, lead code easy used to be like, a one-liner or two-liner and then people do for loops and complain that it's too easy but now it is still the same for loops but but now they make it so that like it becomes a reading contest for some reason instead of a, a problem solving contest so it's a little bit awkward and a little uh, a little bit of a weird direction if you ask me but let's get to the problem anyway it took me a while to kind of read this one and i still don't think this is the easiest way to represent it but basically the idea is that um so you have given all these numbers if all the numbers that are bigger than it uh you can find an h such that is strictly greater than um then you can set and all, all the same then you know you can go down but because of induction meaning that you can always find a number like you could because you could do this an infinite number of times say you can do it always uh, number by number, right? Meaning that, okay, well, the first number is five, then we go to five, and then we, go, you know, go to four, and then two, and then so forth, which is an example one. And I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really, like, uh, I think if you really think about it, then this problem is, um, there's an easy way to think about it, but, um, I don't know. My code is geared toward getting it as fast as possible, so, uh, like, done, right, uh, in terms of coding. Um, so that's kind of what I landed on. And honestly, uh, um, when I submitted, I wasn't even sure that I read it correctly because this poem is such a mess to read. But, uh, but yeah, but what it comes down to is that, well, what is impossible? Impossible is if there's a number smaller than K, right? Because if there's a number smaller than K, then, um, then you cannot, because all, all, all these functions do is to make things smaller. And as a result, if there's a number smaller than k, you cannot bring it up to k. So it's just not possible. Other than that, you can actually go one at a time, right? Because for every number, you can always reduce the biggest number to the second biggest number. And then all those numbers, you can kind of put it together because you all, they, you modify all of them at the same time to the third large number and so forth, all the way up to k. So the way that I would phrase it is just that, and actually I didn't even, I don't know, the way that I wrote this, it looks awkward, uh, because you don't even need to sort it in this case, uh, now that I see it. Um, because I just go through it anyway. And yeah, and that's pretty much it. So then, because if there's a number bigger than it, then we could go to the next number. So that's why I do one operation to make it, reduce it to the next smallest number. So it becomes how many numbers are bigger than this number, uh, k, and that's it. Uh, and if you remove the sort like I just did, this is gonna be linear time, linear space due to the set. Um, yeah, I think that actually is it, right? Yeah. Um, I think you still need to set for duplicate reasons um, because either you sort it or you make it in the set. So, you know, th that's up to you. But this is how I did it. And that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments, by the way, what you think, or uh, like uh, if you read or if you watch this, um, how did you think about this problem in terms of writing and reading? Because I don't know if it's just me sometimes and I really would love to get some feedback if it's just like, oh no, Larry's just having trouble reading because he just woke up or something. I don't know. So let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and you could watch me solve a live during the contest. Next. Okay. H that is valid. What is this? H is valid. Why do they use these ra random terms? Just you, I, I rather they use the word special. What is ra valid is, is a word that means things. H. This is a hard form for easy, or at least hard to read. That is, five is not a valid integer. Yeah, of course. Not. Okay, so you choose a number. Everything bigger than it gets smaller. You turn the minimum number of operations to make any. Oh, the K? Okay. 
So basically, you take the biggest number. And you sub. So okay, so how would you do it? <laughs> this is so hard to read. I don't understand it. H that is valid, and then set it to H. But H is the big no. It's the, well, it could be up to the biggest number minus one. So then, basically, you decrement the biggest number, or order. I mean, it's, it might as well as be a set, so it doesn't really matter because it's order numbers, right? So, so then you have to change it to k. K in this case, you could do from five to four. I guess to three to two, if you want to think of it that way. So what can you do? So you cannot make numbers bigger. So that means that if there are any numbers smaller than this number, than k, maybe. Um, yeah, so maybe min of nums. If this is smaller than k, then um, if this is true, then we return negative 1. Otherwise, we just count the number of of unique numbers bigger than it, which you could do with a binary search pair. I don't know. Uh, eh, whatever. I'm, I'm too lazy to binary search. Is it greater than or if it's greater than? Because is it equal to maybe? No, I think it's just greater than. I don't know. Something like this maybe. It's kind of hard to read. To uh, Yolo. I wouldn't be surprised if I'm getting it. Okay. I was going to say, I'm, I'm not surprised if I get it wrong, but that's a really hard to read problem. It took me three minutes to read. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest, this problem, this explanation, everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.